You can turn subtitles off. This makes for a cinematic experience. Uh, hey, I don't know about that. It's easier to read when their lip syncing is so bad. Well, the lip syncing isn't bad, just the movement it reminds me of Halo 1. Halo 1 is one of my favorite games, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> hey. What are you doing? Open up. I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hall. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race, and mention that you're interested in working for the Exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. This is too risky. We should find another way. You got another plan, sister? Or are you just objecting because you didn't think of it? No, I don't have another plan. I would rather not place my life in your hands, however. I can say the same about you. That makes us even. Fortunately, we both want to get off this rock, right? While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Hmm. And even more of my party is filled up now. Well, if he can... Heal wounds, I think I'll take you and the person with the lightsaber, even though I kind of think the Wookiee is stronger, but the lightsaber is good. So, let's go. Billions of people on Terrace. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of, of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command. But it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Mal. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest cat hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough. I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Dalek. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. 
the rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive, as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. Important lesson to learn, no doubt. In my line of business, I've seen far too many people suffer for not understanding it. With the recommendation from Candrus and a thorough background check, you could become part of the exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebonhawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Fortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebonhawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I mm -hmm. am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. But we should continue our tour. These will be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callum. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Okay. What does the journal say? What's the map say? Throne room? Ooh, lag there, that's not good. Throne room, okay, can I sit in it? Darn, if this were Oblivion, I could sit in that. If it were Oblivion, I could also walk down this. Are, are you kidding me? Wow. Really? I do. No, I'm wrong. You, thank you. Okay. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh? getting angry that I just blew up all these people. Why can't I see those remains?
Do I save or do I not save? On it. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right now. You can tell Davik everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five-credit chip for your trouble, sir. Now scurry on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Okay. <laughs> what? He doesn't even care. Okay, so now I'm being rewarded with tons of credits. Ooh, armor reinforcement. Should probably upgrade my stuff. Alrighty then. Ah, hello. Yeah, these droids do torture droids. <laughs> Okay then. This guy's doing a lot of damage. Ow. What? What? What was that? Friggin' flamethrower? Are you serious? Come on, die. Die. Thank you. What the heck? I'm here. Yes. Hmm? Jeez, okay, whoops. Well, that's not what I expected. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Questions? Please, I've already told... It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have... We've got what we came for. We should get going. Okay then, I guess I had to do that anyway. That's very annoying. He doesn't care that I just shot everyone. I guess now I can save. And how do I get there? Let's see what's in here. Might be a way to the